Chapter 16 Virni, if you are listening to me, I hope you don't find me unfaithful. I've come to accept my feelings for Katyusha, but I still have feelings for you. Perhaps in our next life you two can be good friends, and maybe our families can unite. Is that wishful thinking? Perhaps it is, perhaps it isn't. But today is Christmas, so let me wish this one gift, wrote Vanya as he sat at his study. Vanya placed the paper with his other writings inside of his desk and got up to go to sleep with Katusha, who was waiting for him in the bedroom. Are you excited? Katusha asked Vanya as he lay down beside her in bed. For? asked Vanya. For everything we're going to do tomorrow, she asked. The question is, are you? he asked, planting a kiss on her head. Hey, I asked first, she exclaimed. And I set all the gifts below the tree and made something special in preparation for tomorrow, replied Vanya. That's what you think, said Katyusha, teasing Vanya as she rolled on top of him. But Katyusha said a few surprises herself. You did? asked Vanya. Sure thing. You'll just have to wait and see what, she replied. Vanya woke to find Katusha missing from the bed again. He sat up and went to the bathroom expecting to find her there, but she was not there. Vanya left the bathroom and smelled a sweet scent coming from downstairs, and he walked towards the source. In the kitchen, Vanya found Katusha standing on a stool to reach the back burner of the stove. Good morning, darling, she stated as she looked over at him. Come down for breakfast? Or did you just come down for me? I came down for you, but... Breakfast sure doesn't sound half bad, replied Vanya with a laugh. Well, in that case, you're just in time, she replied, taking two biscuits from the pan on the stove and pouring a syrup-like jam on the side of them. What's that other thing that I smell? asked Vanya. My little gift for you, she giggled as she uncovered a slab of ham, just large enough for the both of them. Vanya's face lit up at the sight of fresh meat cooked to perfection. Where'd you learn to cook? asked Vanya. Nona always cooked, and then I did after her. Katusha's cooking is reserved for very special people and very special occasions, said Katusha as she lifted a slice of ham and placed it with the two biscuits. She then shook the plate and held it out for Vanya to take. And you're a very special person to me. And this is a very special occasion, smiled Vanya as he took the plate from her hands. The two enjoyed their meal, the sweet flavor of the ham and the jam went perfectly with the dense biscuits Katusha had made for them. The two made their way towards the foyer where a tree was set and trimmed by Katusha and Vanya. I want you to open my gift first, exclaimed Katusha as she took a small box out from behind the tree. When'd you get that back there? asked Vanya. Oh, you know, I get around. It's part of being small, she joked. Open it up, she said as she handed him the small box. He recognized the packaging. It was the one that won the ring that he had given her. Verney never threw it out when Vanya gave it to her. Then he held on to it, until at last he gave it to Katusha. Now she was giving it back to him. Vanya pulled the small ribbon holding it closed and lifted the lid to find inside a small pin. It's just like the one that Nona made for me. I know it looks a lot like the ones that they gave us at Pravda, but these ones are a bit different. They're not really a hammer or a sickle, it's a... a sword and a flower. A chamomile. Nona knew that it was my favorite flower. It was to symbolize our love, and the sword was to show how Nona was loyal to me. And now that I give it to you, it is to show our love and loyalty. Is this yours? asked Vanya, to which Katusha produced hers from her blouse. No, I made it for you. It wasn't easy, to be honest but I had some help from the local smith. It's gold, so it will never tarnish, just like our love. Vanya smiled and hugged Katusha before whispering, I love you. Thank you, Katusha. I love you too. Now then, since I opened your gift, perhaps you'll like to open mine, right? Katusha smiled as she looked up at him. You bet. Go on then, open it up, said Vanya as he handed her her gift. It was packaged in a long, narrow box which Katusha opened to find inside a saber. I figured it made sense for you. After all, you were a commander in the past, and now, 
you are the commander of my heart. Wherever your heart goes, I shall follow, in the direction your blade commands. Oh, Vanya, thank you. But really, you are my commander now. I'll be by your side always, till death do us apart, all the way to our graves, so we can reunite in heaven. Vanya pulled in Katusha on top of him and smiled. Katusha relished in the moment and felt joy in herself as Vanya held her. You know what I wanted more than anything? What? asked Katusha. A nice day with you, replied Vanya. Funny, I had just the same wish. <laughs>